it's finally the weekend and um, I just decided last minute that I wanted to load up the car and run to St. Louis. So St. Louis is about five and a half hours from my house. I've only been there one time and it was a very short trip. So not, uh, haven't really had a chance to see St. Louis. And um, for once, I don't have anything planned for the weekend, so just decided I would hop in the car, head to St. Louis. I've watched some videos on some things that I want to see and do. Um, lucky for me, the St. Louis Cardinals are actually playing in St. Louis this weekend at Bush Stadium. I'm super excited to see that. Uh, I was able to get some tickets for that versus the Cubs, which is apparently their rival. Um, so I'm going to see that game uh, tomorrow night, I think. And... Um, other than that, just going to check out the city, see what it has to offer. I have several places that people have recommended for food that I want to try and do little reviews on um, and a couple activities that I want to try and just see uh, what they're all about. So uh, we're going to hit the road and get this adventure started. made it to St. Louis. Uh, it's 11:20, and uh, just got here to our hotel for the night. Going to stay here tonight. This is in downtown St. Louis at the uh, Hotel Indigo. Um, last minute plans. They didn't have anything for the rest of the weekend. So wanted to stay here tonight. Going to move tomorrow to another hotel. We'll see what that one's like. Um, just got checked in, spoke to um, the front desk person who was very friendly. Uh, one of the things I like to do is ask, you know, what's your favorite place to eat breakfast or lunch or dinner? So I got some recommendations for that for tomorrow morning. Really excited about it. Um, and some other options for on the, on the list. So we are going to go find the parking garage and get checked in. Uh, to our room um, and see the view. We're on the 12th floor, so maybe we have a view. We'll see. Made it to my room. 12.01. And this is um, super cute. So again, Hotel Indigo. This is the King Suite. No, I said suite. I'm not that fancy. It's just a king room. This window. Maybe we'll see a better view tomorrow. And then the bathroom is freaking huge. Look at this. This is adorable. I don't know how to get in it. Oh, okay, that's fancy. That's fancy. Very cute. So went to a rooftop bar at the top of the uh, I think it was the Marriott, um, whichever one is the ballpark, uh, looking down over the ballpark. So at the very top of it, there's this really cool bar. I think it's called like level 360 or 360 level or something like that. Um, I'll link that below. I'll, I'll figure out the name and link it below. But really cool inside and outside bar. They had some music playing. Um, outside, I've got some really great views. I'll post some pictures of that and some video of that just looking down over the ballpark. So that's a really cool place. They've got some signature drinks. I tried a Blackberry Rose um, that was very interesting. I'm not really a whiskey drinker, but the way that combination was, it was pretty good. 
Um, I enjoyed it. And then a Catalina wine mixer. Don't really remember what all was in that, but that was pretty good too. So different tasting drinks, uh, which I like, to, I like to try different things. So that was really cool. So, St. Louis, day one, uh, came in Thursday night. This was a last minute decision to come here. Um, love the hotel, it's super cute. Downfall to the hotel is that there isn't a little mini fridge in here, um, but I improvised because I wanted to have mimosas in the morning, so I'll show you that in a minute. So no wine, or no, wine fridge, I'm so fancy. Uh, no mini fridge, and so, I just took the trash can because the little ice thing wasn't going to be enough and I put the stuff for my uh, morning mojitos in that full of ice um, and then another drink that needs to be kept cool. So that worked. I'm not uh, upset with it considering the deal I got on this hotel and it's a so super cute. Tomorrow um, I'm going to try someplace for breakfast and, uh, we'll let you know when I decide that because I have several options to choose from. Not sure which one I'm going to go with. Um, but that's a wrap on today. It is now actually tomorrow. So I'm going to get some rest and see what all I can get into tomorrow. All right. Good night. Activity number one in St. Louis. Decided to visit the St. Louis Zoo. Um, I've only been to two zoos in my life. One in um, Tacoma, Washington, and then the Little Rock Zoo, which is just a little zoo. Um, so this zoo is actually free to uh, enter. That's what I was told. So I decided to drive down here instead of take the tram because it was gonna take me a lot longer to take the little tram here. Should have done that. So tip one for the zoo, is that it is free to get into the zoo, but it's $15 to park at the zoo. So not, not bad, still, still a, you know, $15 to get in here and enjoy this is gonna be really cool. There's a sea lion show that we're going to check out. I am currently getting chewed up by flies, like worse than mosquitoes right now. It's, it's a situation. Um, so, I don't know if you can see behind me. There's a little guy. This little alligator sitting there watching me. Um, so I am going to check out the sea lion show and uh, see what all animals we can see. It's kind of hot. It is 11 in the morning, um, so they may be up hiding. Who knows? We'll see. I'm literally, it's killing me. Um, so we'll see how it goes and uh, let you know what we think about the zoo in St. Louis.
amazing. So it's pina colada with strawberry daiquiri mixed together, heavy rum shot, and a pineapple. It's delicious. All right, so that is a wrap on the zoo uh, in St. Louis. Only been to two other zoos, like I said, and this one was my favorite. It was really cool. It was way big, um, but thankfully there's a little train that will take you around. And uh, lots of activities for the kids. Um, I was a little surprised that there were so many animals out with it, hot as hot as it is. Um, but we got to see a ton of animals. Um, love the habitats that they're in. The, just the whole zoo was great. Um, plenty of places to eat, drink, plenty of places for the kids to play. Um, for the fact that it is free to get in, this was a great adventure. Now, be prepared to pay for things when you get inside, obviously, but at least you don't have to pay a gate fee and then pay for things inside. Uh, highly recommend the zoo. Okay, so I'm here at the ballpark and um, I've talked to multiple different uh, employees here at the ballpark and asked them what their favorite fan fair is. And they said that I had to come to the first deck, 100th level, I don't know what that is, um, to Alberto's Nachos, which is where I'm at. And you pick your nachos and then you get to fill it with whatever you want. So that's what I'm doing and we'll see what it's like. So. Uh, I'll show you shortly what that looks like. Alright. So building the best bike of the nacho. Hang on. Wait for it! Wait for it! There it is. That's an amazing nacho. Park nachos, and then I was too full to have anything else. The ballpark nachos <laughs> were a lot, so I talked to many people about that, 
as far as what, uh, you know, people that work there, I asked them, what do you prefer to eat at, at this ballpark? And every one of them told me the same thing. So I got it and it did not disappoint. It was amazing. Um, we didn't win. I don't think so. It's almost over. There it is. Uh, but still fun. Great time. Definitely recommend going to the ballpark. Uh, try more food than I tried. But man, the, the nachos were so much. I, I couldn't do anything else. After the game, we headed over to Ballpark Village to see what um, what the atmosphere would be like at night, and then also after the game. It was so much fun. There are several different bars in there, from um, a beach type bar to a country type bar. You can play Bago in there. You can um, play like beer pong in there. Lots of cool things going on. There's live music um, in some areas, and then it's just a really fun vibe. 